Hey everyone, got a good one for you today. So we're working on a 2018 3.0 Power Stroke, baby Power Stroke if you will. And um, we had some drivability issues on this one. Pulled the map sensor, which is up here, and it was completely caked, blocked off with soot from the EGR. This truck tows a lot, gets worked pretty hard, 93,000 miles, all stock. And yeah, I've seen worse, but this one's pretty, pretty bad. So if you want to know why diesel enthusiasts hate this kind of stuff, it's because at 100,000 miles, you can see I've already gotten some out of the plastic intakes. But there you go. Somebody's going to say that this is mostly carbon, but this stuff is like sandpaper inside your engine bay. This is why diesels used to have no problem lasting, you know, 500 600,000 miles. Now you're lucky to get, you know, 250,000 miles out of one without having some sort of major issue. Um, you know, I understand the benefits of EGR and stuff, but this is ridiculous. There's got to be a better solution because at 93,000 miles on a small diesel that's getting, you know, worked regularly, that's a lot. I can only imagine what the BPF looks like and, um, there's no real way to clean out these without getting super in-depth with it, but what we're going to do for right now is at least get the uh, Y pipe or the bridge cleaned out real good and I get it resealed and get all this cleaned out. But you can see when I pulled it out how loose some of it is and it just falls right off there. So, quick one today guys. Hope you find this helpful. You know, I'm not going to advise you to delete your trucks obviously because of legal stuff, but I just want to share this for representation even so the EGR on these comes in right here on the small port I mean, you can see it's caked up pretty good but the further you go down the worse it gets in there be safe guys take care of yourselves as always all the way